While working towards our goal of having wireless mice reach the same level of performance and responsiveness as wired mice, we tested many firmware versions. One of these firmware versions provided even better responsiveness than the high speed mode we currently have. With this new firmware version, there were no differences felt in a comparison test against wired mice using the 3389 and 3395 sensors. We named this firmware version Competitive Version. The power consumption in Competitive Version is the same as in High Speed Mode, which is 45 hours if in constant movement. Once you switch to Competitive Version, you cannot switch back to Standard Mode, which allows for 90 hours of usage in constant movement. On top of a shorter battery life, both motion sync and liftoff distance adjustments are no longer available. DPI, polling rate, and click debound settings are still adjustable using the buttons on the bottom of the mouse. You can also still switch between A and B dongles. We believe this may cause a certain level of inconvenience for some. However, we wanted to know, could professional players tell the performance difference between the original firmware and the competitive version when playing competitive games? In order to see if the competitive version would fit the level of responsiveness needed in the professional esports scene, both high speed mode and competitive version were provided to pro players to test. Most players chose the competitive version as they found it to be a better fit. Although the competitive version has its inconveniences, we find it necessary to allow players who are using the XC wireless to try this competitive version. After further adjustment, Battery life on competitive version has been extended from 45 to 50 hours. Lastly, we would like to assure our friends that we are not going to stop here, but continue to explore new and innovative ways to keep improving. When we are able to provide an even better user experience, we will provide you with firmware updates to share this experience with you. Please refer to the table below on the differences between the competitive version and the original firmware that comes pre-installed. If you prefer the competitive version, firmware installation instructions can be found below. However, if after trying the competitive version, you find the original firmware better, you have the option to restore the original firmware by simply reinstalling it. To install the competitive version, Download the competitive version from the Vaxi website. Unzip the file and open the dongle file first to update dongle firmware. Connect the dongle into the USB port and then open the update program. Click Start to begin. When Pass appears, the update is completed. When Pass is displayed, do not press the update button again. This will cause the update to fail. If it shows fail, please close the program and try again. After the dongle is updated, open the mouse file to update the mouse firmware. Open the update program and connect the mouse using the cable so it enters wired mode. Click start to begin. When pass is displayed, do not press the update button again. This will cause the update to fail. If it shows fail, please close the program and try again. After the firmware is updated, please pair the mouse and dongle. Pairing steps. Disconnect the dongle. Turn mouse power off. Hold mouse 4, which is the back side button, and the function button while turning on mouse power. The upper light on the back of the mouse should start to blink, which means that the mouse is in pairing mode. Connect the dongle to the USB port. When the light stops blinking, pairing is completed. There are rare cases during our tests where the mouse cannot pair with the dongle or does not function under a wired connection. If this happens, please restart the computer and attempt pairing again. 
it should then function correctly. To restore the original firmware. To restore the firmware to the original version, please download original version firmware using the same steps. Upon opening the program, please check the version of firmware which can be found in the bottom right corner. Please pair the mouse and dongle again after the update has been completed.